Hey everyone, this is Ryan Mitchell with thetinylife.com. I wanted to do a kind of tutorial about how to calculate stair height, steps and runs and all that kind of stuff uh, if you're going to build a staircase in your tiny house. I'm using 7 feet tall and 10 feet as the length of the, the run of the stair. Just some quick terminology. Uh, so the, the total height here is going to be just your total rise of the staircase. This will be the total run of your staircase. Um, to not be confused with in a stair, you have the run of the step and the rise of the step, okay? Uh, so um, you're just going to adjust these numbers for your use when you do this. But uh, first thing we're going to do is figure out the number of steps that we need uh, total here. So uh, we are going to start with 7 feet. We're going to get it into inches, so times it by 12. It's going to equal 84. Now, a typical uh, comfortable average or like a standard, I guess I should say, the stair uh, rise is about seven inches. So we're going to start with that. Just realize that depending on your numbers and depending on your design, this can vary. Ideally, you want these all to be at least equal um, or uniform so that as you're walking up the step, it's kind of easier to, you know, you're not dealing with different heights and different runs. So uh, seven inches is kind of a common one, which gives us 12. Really easy math here for us. So that means that there needs to be 12 uh, rises here, which is this one here. So we're just gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, there we go. Um, this is just for diagram purposes. You guys get the point. So uh, we have that there. So what we're seeing right now is uh, that the rise here is seven inches, okay? And then what we need to do is figure out how wide these steps are, okay? Um, so the run of the step. So we have 10 feet basically to work with. So if you were to like take these surfaces, this one from here to here, and then add it here to here, here to here, here to here, that would, it's basically just a straight line and it would equal, we need it to equal 10. So we say 10, we're gonna get into inches, so 12. Gives us 120, okay? And then we're gonna divide that by the number of steps we have, which is conveniently 12. So that gives us a stair run of 10 inches. Okay, so 10 inches. So that means that when we build this, this is gonna be 10, that's gonna be seven, that's gonna be 10, this is gonna be seven, 10, seven. And you get, you get the point. Now, um, when you're building this, you're going to play with these numbers because some things to think about. One, you may not have a full 10 feet, so you may have to shorten this, which means your your stair rise may not be able to be 7, right? It may have to be 10 or 12 or something like that, right? Think about what's practical for you. Like, what can you actually step up on? And then uh, the other thing, too, is with your stair um, run here, right? If you want to put storage in here, think about what's practical. Like, what can you actually fit in 10 inches? You may realize like, hey, I really need 12 inches there or 14 inches, whatever the case is. So then you start to play with these numbers and go from there. So guys, that's how you actually calculate stair, rise and run. Hope that's helpful.